Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I was at Crown Jewel. Now, I know a lot of you out there are going to say, Oh, Jordan, there's no, you're no way you could be at Crown Jewel. And you don't even keep your tickets. No, I don't, mm, I don't keep my tickets. Some do, some don't. So, we went over to Saudi Arabia and... Well, don't ask me the time zone because I wouldn't be able to tell you. But it was nighttime for them. And I saw, well, yeah, I saw Sensuke, I saw, you know, Alexander Rusev and Sensuke Nakamura for, you know, for the United States Championship. Yeah, it was a kickoff match, but I saw. I also saw. Well, you know, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, Kurt Angle, Bobby Lashley, uh, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, and, well, surprise, they, you know, all in the World Cup wrestling fights. I was there when Shane McMahon was the one who won the World Cup. Um, I also happened to see the New Day, Biggie Langston, and Kofi Keaston take on... The Bard, I bar, I keep saying bar, I mean bar, of Tony Cesaro and Sheamus O'Shaughnessy for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Well, I was there when AJ Styles fought Samoa Joe for a WWE Heavyweight Championship, and also when Braun Strowman fought Brock Lesnar for the WWE Un Universal Heavyweight Championship. I was also there when The Undertaker and Kane, the Brothers of Destruction, met Shawn Michaels and Triple H, Degeneration X. Yeah, and my godmother, Zena, got mad, like she always does. She gets so emotionally invested in her wrestlers, the ones she likes, that when they win, she's all happy, and when they lose, she's all mad. Well, the un well she got mad again, and angry again. Oh, I was there. Yeah. Yeah, it was... My godmother, Zena, my god sister, Gabrielle, her husband, Gabriel, their son, Dylan, and myself. Yeah, I know, Jordan says, over there in Saudi Arabia, it's the laws are Islamic and they're real strict about what women can do and what they can't do. And, yeah, it had to be chaperoned around. Um, you had to at least have your almost your whole body covered, but that wasn't a bind for me since I already had, since look at the clothes I already have on anyway. Um, you know, so it is what it is, you know. So I was at Crown Jewel. Now I know uh, some of them had seeped wrong with it first for being in Saudi Arabia, but WWE has a eight-year deal to put on wrestling shows there and you know so it's going to be eight years of wrestling shows being done there and i know some are going to seek wrong with you know going there after some man was slayed i don't know the exact saga I tell behind it but apparently it was but whatever the whatever happened there apparently it apparently was a turnoff for some of the wrestlers well, in John Cena's case, yeah, he already was he already was booked to be show playing or playing show playing in one of Jackie Chan's new films that he's work that he's working on. And as far as Daniel Bryan goes, really don't know what his point to what his meaning for not being there was, but he didn't want to be there. So yeah, it was a show where you had well, there were some other wrestlers that didn't want to be there too, but I'd be there for a long time making a movie about every single wrestler that he uh, didn't want to be there. You know, but I was at Crown Jewel and I thought it was a good show. You know, we got back. I don't know what time was it. I would say twelve or so. Then so, yeah. Because technically 11 would have been 9. Well, 12 would have been 9. 
one would have been 10, two would have been 11, three would have been 12, so yeah. We didn't get back till like maybe one in the afternoon. And that's Pacific Standard, that's Pacific time. Eastern Standard Time, that would come down to the equivalent of four. So we didn't get back to at least 12. Then jet lag got all of us like it always does. And it is what it is. I'm Jordan Long, and I hope you like this movie.